I mean, it's so good, but like just, uh, yeah, <laughs> there's like, a lot going on. It's like every time I get into it and then it's like, oh no, it's a peen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not the one to watch with the parents in the background. No. But I mean, like, yeah, my wife's got a great story about how she was watching Supernatural at the dentist and uh, her dentist keyed in right when they got into a particularly intimate scene during an episode. And she's like 16 and watching the show and he goes, what are you watching right now? And she's like. I swear it's like a it's like a normal TV show. It's a cute it's, it's, TV it's show. Network. It's it's about ghosts and demons and stuff. Yeah, sure it is. What is up, you guys? Welcome back. I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Michael Booth. Hello, hello. And um, we are carrying on with Gen V. This time we're on episode three. Hashtag Think, Think Brink. Brink. Lovely. Okay. All right, you guys. You know what to do. If you want to watch the entire episode along with us, you can join our Patreon or become a member. Just be aware that you will need to have your own copy of the show. Also, for those of you on YouTube, please subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video if you're having a good time and you enjoy being disturbed. Because we sure do. <laughs> all right. A couple of messed up individuals over here. Oh, yeah. That's right. Anyway, <laughs> let's carry on with this. Episode three, you guys. This looks like a happy place to be. Yeah. Yeah, the happiest place on earth. Wow. Oh yeah, that's how, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, so she knows. She knows? It's okay, I'm here. Did, did, did you know about this Compound V stuff? No, no. How can mom and dad do that to us? They thought they were giving us powers. Oh. I got a broken fucking brain! I got news for you. Drug or no drug, you'd still be weird as fuck. <laughs> Aw, that's, oh, that's big brother cute. energy. Yeah. What matters is I'm your brother. What the hell, man? Stop it. Okay, no, look. You are dead. Oh, dead. Oh, my God. Holy crap. No. Oof. Oh, no. Oh, does she touch him and go, Sam, you need to calm down? Go to sleep. Jesus, are you okay? You wouldn't wake up. I'm fine. I wasn't sure whether was to I call am? the ambulance or the 911 night. I'm fine. Can you go get my pills from over there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What pills? Stop taking the pills. <gasps> Holy shit, that's Sam. Yeah. He's alive. Luke was telling the truth. In that first night, Sam was trying to escape. I helped him. Yeah. I helped him catch him. Whatever it is, uh, no, Sam needs to get out and we need to get him out now. If you charge in there, you're going to get caught and then God knows what. And Kate, then Kate, you just Kate, have to stop and think about it for a Kate, second. no. I could make you stop. But we don't use our powers yeah. on friends like that. No, you're all about consent. So make me stop. You're not going to. Ooh. Please don't do anything stupid. I can't lose you too. Oh gosh! Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, oh. I, I I was sensing some undertones, yeah. but not surprised. We're moving on real fast. Okay. Yeah, grief does weird things. Okay. Get in. Where's your little friend? Emma. Squish. Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> we know how she gets small. How does she get big? That's a good question. Out here. Yeah, maybe she's like really, really small. Oh, she got like termite size. Oh no. So every time you eat to get big and to get small, you. Oh. Listen, I'm really tired. I've been fighting off ants all night, so. <laughs> fighting off ants all night? <laughs> Ooh, it's a different world when you're that small. Take a break. Talk to someone, get help. Okay, and you yourself. Are you gonna take a break? Get help? That's different. That's no, my it's power. Not. I... Thank you. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's the exact yeah. response she just Touché. gave. Touche. You could just focus on classes like you said. We can just be roommates, okay? Oh, Emma, no. I wanted to tell you after that interview last night. <sighs> 
I'm so proud of you, Marie. Thanks. Don't fall for the fake mom BS. When that bottle blonde ambushed you with that shit about your sister. It was on purpose, by the way. Who knows if it was even true? What? Why? Because it's better ratings if you cry on camera. But you didn't let her get to you. Stay tough, showed poise. Thanks. <laughs> and what a bitch. Yeah! <laughs> Everyone's a mm. bitch. So listen. Yeah. Who do you think fed her you that information? To this huh? fundraiser tonight. Okay. Excellent. Eat up? Will they get cold? <laughs> What's in the pancakes? Yeah, I was gonna say, she's looking at those pancakes really weird. Yeah. What is it? What drugs have you put in there? Hold on a second, look. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Get out of here. Yeah, piss off. Your eating disorder is your truth and it's not. Ugh. I had no right to co-opt your story. Yeah, no, okay, but I don't I trust you. Yeah. yeah. You don't get to just out people. Piss off, both you of you. This? I want everyone to know how sorry I am. Gross. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Luke was so nice to me. You mean until he went berserk? But thank God you single-handedly stopped that monster's murderous frenzy. Yeah. You saw the interview. Yeah, she yeah, saw the interview. Everyone did. Kidding me? You didn't know Luke. How funny he was, how much he loved his family. But she's a great don't sell like black and white, do they? I really am sorry. This is what happens when you go on script, unfortunately. You sacrifice your morals, you hurt people around you, and that's how you get... climb to the top. Uh, coming! Your mom and me are here! Your favorite parent. Oh. And then I guess... Yeah. Yeah. We wanted to pay our respects to Brink tonight. We know what he meant to you. He thought you were such an upstanding young man. Uh-huh. Amazing. Uh, the hair is different, yep, too. Yep. Yeah, they did their hair different. It's like... <laughs> That's tough. The layers of, like, Asian parent preference. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're really just like going hard into the red motif. Perfectly imperfect in person. You found a real one. Yeah. Ugh. Gross. My dad's always bragging to the guys at his pickup games. Are they here? No, they're both in Cameroon. Doctors Without Borders. Cameroon. Wow. Golden Boy Mass, I'm not sure how much I'm pledging. Like you always say, Bonnie, the focus on white male heroes is problematic. If you want more like Marie, I need your help. Yeah, empty out your pockets. These people don't want to hear the truth, and you don't want to say it. She says, continuing to manipulate the way you feel. Uh. Oh. Lucky Jordan doesn't have laser eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It looks could kill. Keep doing what you're doing. You could be the first top ranked freshman in history. Wow. That's what she wants to hear. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Way yeah. to manipulate. Pretty dress. Okay. Aww. How do you pee in it? <laughs> 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 Assistance. <laughs> yeah, this is girl code. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Want me to run the water or something? I'm really sorry, Emma. Aww. Aww. I know this is probably too little, too late, but I'd, I'd really like us to be. Aww. Friends. Yeah. That's adorable. Thank you. Aww. I'm Andre. Yeah, I know you are. You're cricket, right? Emma. Yeah, mm -hmm. Emma. Yeah, I'd like to be known by who I am, thank you. <laughs> I won't puke all over your shoes. Yeah, I saw that video. Fuck that girl. Freshman class is savage this year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a boy, Dad. Not all the time. And I'm sorry that you hate that. But you are. I thought we were giving you a gift with Compound V. He did give me a gift. Can we please not talk about this? For you, maybe. Whoa. Ouch. 
I'm no bigot. Oh, right. That's what they always say. That's how you open the most bigoted sentence ever. You can be a boy forever if you want. But they don't want to. Sometimes they think you change into a girl just to spite me. Oh, stop. No. I'm just... The kid addicted to their PlayStation. I've always just been me. Yeah. Mm. Have you noticed their necklace has two versions as well? Oh, the like yeah, chain that's, that's always right. in the front, but yeah. they've got pearls that pop up from time to time. That's a cool detail. Like, the- so cool. Like what the fucking? F- yeah. <laughs> cool it. Cool it. Could they do that to us? Are we in danger? I mean, should we tell someone? I don't know what we'd say. All I got is this, and well, Luke told me before it's murder suicide. It's not exactly credible. <laughs> Go down there and need to find out where they have Luke's brother. Mm. But. I can't yeah. do it without getting busted. Yeah, they need her. Maybe someone like you. Oh shit! <laughs> Forget I said. No, anything. I'm totally, totally ended. Because it is like life or death, dangerous, and you're a freshman, and you are not even on the crime fighting track. <laughs> you're high. You know what? And yeah, you're stoned. But also, no matter what you say. Yes. Oh my goodness. She's so in. Okay, so the GPS tags connected to my phone. Remember, just recon, no tiny action hero shit. I think this is where they're keeping him, but if you see anything shady, just bail. I like the Polly Pocket outfit. Northwest Wing 4. I'll see you in an hour. Got it. Get it, got it. Uh, <laughs> she's. Oh, does she come in with the food? She came in with the food. But how do you intend to get out? Oh. She's gonna be like, Yo, dude, don't hurt me. (laughs) Your dinner looks rank. Yeah, oh man. Oh goodness. That's really... That's a long drop. big drop. Yikes. Onto a hard metal... Oh! Speak! Start talking! You gotta say something. Yeah, like you were gonna get away. <laughs> Start talking! To one of the real ones. Hey, what do you think you know? I'm going to the bathroom. Did I do something to piss you off? No. <laughs> Besides your entire existence? <laughs> there's some fucked up shit going on, and that that's why Luke killed Brink. Because there's there's this underground hospital where they keep everybody in it. Yeah. Who else have you told? Nobody. Don't say another fucking word about this. Yeah, he's, Near me. he's in on it, dude. <sighs> You know, drop it. Hey, polarity. Hey, oh, whoa. That switch. That was a shot. Whoa. Yeah. Well, you're not real. You're a manifestation. But why would I imagine you? No, I'm, re- I'm real. Prove it. How? What's the name of the stuffed animal I loved more than anything when I was little? I have no idea. What's the name? Dip top. How about dip, uh, dip top? <laughs> dip top. What's the name of my all time favorite? Movie. Well, you're a white guy, so <laughs> Star Wars. Something Star Wars. Godfather, Star Wars, or Shawshank. <laughs> hey! Wow, you were on it. Waterworld. Oh, huh. interesting. Waterworld. Choice. Really? <laughs> Jesus. Fair enough. I love the show at Universal. <laughs> yes. For real. Holy shit! You do know this is the dumbest test ever, right? <laughs> What are you what are you doing here? You could get in big trouble. Sort of scouting ahead. For what? For you. To get you out of here. No, I don't I don't think so. No? Because they punish him every time he tries. But thanks for coming by. Your brother sent me. Um This is gonna bite us bad later. Yeah. Certain. He did? Yes. He wants to get you out, so. It's, she's not lying. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I could give you the codes to all the security doors. How do you know that? I think I pay attention. Ah. Uh. But I do. You know the fucking codes? <laughs> <laughs> she's great. <laughs> she's like, you 
Are you kidding me right now? I'm not in the mood, okay? You can attack me in the morning. I'm surprised you can walk straight with everyone's tongue lodged up your ass. Leave me alone. You don't know shit about me. Brown noser, one upper, mommy and daddy's perfect little hero. No, I killed my mom and dad. I didn't know. I had powers until my first period. I couldn't control the blood and it sliced through my mom's body. Dad came in, same deal. You've been pushing way too hard, girl. Yeah. And I just spent the entire night being dragged around like a show pony, so I'm not in the mood for your shit. Hey. Oh. We've got some good vodka for yeah. you. Have a sit down. Come join. Come on over, girly. <laughs> <laughs> the trauma club over here. Yeah, I was going to say. You've heard of the Dead Poets Society. How about the uh, Dead Parents Society? I was nine. My parents were setting up the tent. My little brother kept kicking at my shins. So I grabbed him by the arm and I told him to go away and never come back. <gasps> so he did. He just walked right into the woods. That was the first time my power showed up. Oh, no. Yeah, that's messed up. You've gotten closer to rescuing me than Luke ever did. Mm. The pretty thing you were probably born with. Or maybe cosmetic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> He's cute. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hey, guys. Uh, what did you do? Told my dad. As soon as they turn off the electricity, run. What electricity? Oh, oh wow. Jesus. Yeah. Run. Oh, God. Hide. Oh, my gosh. It's like the it's like the prison colony in Andor. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. like the prison colony in Andor. Yeah. I guess spoilers for Andor if you haven't watched it. Nice jump. Okay. Oh shit. Is he gonna Does she have like Ant Man abilities? Is this That's like the same sort of like I, I don't think so. Reductive strength. <laughs> no. Just like annoying. Is she inside? Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. She Get is in 100%. There. Oh, that's horrible. Oh no. It's in my brain. Oh god. Anatomically, is that how it works? I don't even know. That'd be horrible. Yeah. You want to be messed up for life? Do that, I guess. Come on, Sam. This is the closest thing possible. <laughs> is he? I'm going to assume. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh my god. That's the end? That's the end of that episode? <laughs> no! How do they get out? Oh Holy god. Cow. And of course I'm wondering as well. I'm like, if she gets any blood in her mouth, like if she eats it, will she get bigger as well? Oh, that's a good like, question. You're right. How does yeah, that work? I didn't think about that. Sorry, my brain just goes there because I'm always just thinking about yeah. the rules of everything. You're right. So I'm you're like, right. Oh. Does she get bigger if she... <laughs> Like a vampire consumes their blood. <laughs> Dang. No, this oh, was man. this was fun. I I really enjoyed all of the like the psychological stuff with yeah. the parents yeah. and oh everything my gosh. as well. Yeah. It was kind of a fun little moment of insight. Again, talking about seeing these heroes in adolescence yeah. rather than as fully fledged adults. I mean you get you get a little bit of it in the boys because you do meet Starlight's parents or Starlight's yeah. mom and stuff like that but it's it's not nearly as much of like the pressure of these parents being like you need to succeed because we took a gamble on drugging you up and your powers have been more of a headache than we ever thought they were going to be yeah. and now you need to make it and so we can make money yeah it was like just really interesting seeing that dynamic between Andre and his dad and mm -hmm. also with Emma and her mom just oh kind of like gosh, yeah. that legacy of, well, at least for Andre's dad, it was like, I was a hero. And then for Emma's mom, it's like, I, I am the pageant mom. That, yeah. Like, I want you to be the pretty successful girl that I never was. The, yeah. Or like to yeah. go further. Yeah, exactly. Than exactly. Me. And it's just like, so sad just watching that, you know, and, but it is interesting. And I think that all of these actors, 
actors and actresses are doing a really great job with their acting. Like, absolutely. Oh my God, uh, Emma, especially uh, the girl who played Lizzie Broadway, incredible. Like that whole scene with her mom and um, the Vought EP yeah. talking about her reality TV show, and just like the subtlety of emotion in yeah. her face. Like her face barely changed at all, and yet you could read volumes in it. She just, oh my gosh, hands down, yeah. amazing performance. It, it's just so hurtful as well, just kind yeah. of using her story in a way that doesn't empower her at all and just kind of turning it into this victim story or whatever. Mm-hmm. I just feel like you should be able to share your story how you want to share Absolutely, it. So yeah. like if if she wanted to kind of use it as a cautionary tale, like how the producer was uh, presenting it and if she wanted to do it that way, then fine, more power to you. But she didn't want to, she didn't see it that way. Yeah. And so I was just really feeling for her like, no, this shouldn't. Yeah. This shouldn't be how this happens, and it's just. So and mom hurtful. just sitting there nodding, being like, "Okay, you're gonna go along with this. Yeah. You're gonna go along with this. Act nice. It's just, it's so heart wrenching. Yeah. Because you know, as as a kid through life, you kind of want your parent to want the best for you, but sometimes what your parent wants isn't necessarily the best for yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's what's best for them. They're, right. They're being selfish, which and- is insane. And especially if they're the type of parent that uh, shoots their kid up with an experimental drug. Yeah, definitely. You're already starting out at a certain level of selfishness to yeah. begin with. So, yeah, 100%. These are um, not the nicest parents. And so watching them try and justify their selfishness to their kids as caring for them is just, like, it's painful. It it's is. painful it's to watch. It's really painful. Also, watching uh, Jordan and their kind of backstory as well. I could, I don't know. (laughs) I know I said something about my mom. Like, let's let's (laughs) get it straight. I I troll her a lot. But um, no, I mean, it was true. Like when she was pregnant with me and my sister, she did really want sons because culturally it is like we want a boy to carry on the family name right and, yeah you know, that's super important and mm-hmm. all of that obviously she's overjoyed that she had two wonderful <laughs> daughters so don't hate on my mom um it's all jokes but you know i totally feel that with uh their relationship with their parents you know where it's like they're a disappointment yeah like from the get-go and and it hurts you know because it's real (laughs) that's hard it's really really hard because especially as a kid you know you want to make your parents proud yeah but if your parents have a very stringent idea of what they want you to be i mean you can never know i mean like growing up As a human being, it takes like some 18, 20, 30 years before you fully develop into like the adult you're going to be, what your passions are, things like that. And you never know how that's going to turn out. So like no matter how much you wish for your kid to do go one way or another, it's never going to work out the way you want it to. And so like ultimately you just got to love your kid for who they are and who they become. And like, I know to a certain extent, you kind of want them to like not go into criminal enterprises or yes. stuff like that. Like, Absolutely. you know, you can guide them that direction to be good people, but like ultimately you got to kind of love them. And so trying to squeeze them into a mold that they have to fit results in, you know, kids like this who, yeah, who just... have all sorts of trouble and are figuring it out. <laughs> Which I feel is like super relatable <laughs> yeah. because, you yeah. know, as much as our parents try their best, something's always going to happen. Do you know, like mm-hmm. that's we all go to therapy or we all probably need therapy because of our child even if our parents yeah. like really tried their best and you know just did the best that they could but there's bound to be something that they didn't get right and that's okay you know we're all only human and so it's just it's so interesting just watching these uh young people in this like crucial stage of their lives as they're kind of trying to figure themselves out and then just you know, seeing how their past is kind of influencing their present and right. their future and, right. and all of that. And like also with Kate, 
She is a character that initially I just thought, oh, she's. I like, know when she first came onto the scene, I was kind of like, I don't know if I like her so yeah, much. Yeah, she's like that very stereotypical, like blonde, popular girl mm-hmm. who's yeah, like maybe a mean definitely. girl. Although it turns out that the other, the brunette girl, was Ugh. totally the meanest girl Ugh. of all. She's completely turned around for me. Like she has so much compassion, Absolutely. and she's just so so sweet and and kind. And I, I really like that. Yeah. That I was surprised, you know? Yeah, she she really has sort of, over the last three episodes, become like one of my favorite characters. I mean, I love our like kind of main four slash five yeah. group of Marie, Andre, Emma, Kate, uh, and Jordan. Um, they're all really, really great characters, and I love them to death. Emma has my whole heart and soul, though. She's, like, just <laughs> the sweetest. Um, but Kate has developed into another one of, like, a nice core group. And I'm wondering if that's the intention with the writing in that initial episode and stuff like that. When she first comes in as Golden Boy's girlfriend, if you're yeah. supposed to be like, oh, this is the popular girl that we're going to hate on. And, exactly. You know, she's got the long, blonde hair. She's got everything that, like, the it popular girl would have. And then... She's actually just like a super nice, caring human being who's yeah. like really genuinely sweet. Or she is as transparent as much as possible with her friends that she won't use her powers to influence them into something that they want. And she won't use her powers to influence them into doing something that they personally don't want to do. Yeah. Like she won't influence them to do drugs. She won't take away uh, Golden Boy's pain at yeah. the news that his brother committed stuff like that I think is a really really beautiful character trait that like really speaks to who Kate is as a person yeah absolutely and also <laughs> I just have to say I, I'm i very much enjoying this like whole potential burgeoning relationship with Emma and Sam yeah because they're I like so that. cute they're so cute because like he sees her mm-hmm. and he doesn't feel sorry for her he thinks she's so cool and obviously he's very cute and so she's like oh hello so yeah I, I hope that he gets out and maybe they can like hang out hang out the... you know go on a proper date outside yeah. of the maximum security <laughs> mental health ward yeah you know let's see one can hope right fingers crossed because this next episode they have to get out yeah how are right? they gonna oh do it oh my gosh they're gonna go on the run next episode. They gotta get out. I mean, he knows all the door codes. So I they know. Just boogie, right? Yeah. They just get out. Just get out. Just run. That's so funny. <laughs> he was like, I know all the codes. She's, She's like, like what? you know all the fucking codes. <laughs> what am I doing here? So silly. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that was that was really fun. I really enjoyed these first three episodes. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to the next one. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this as well, please subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video. And we'll catch you on the next one. I'm Achara Kirk. This is Michael Boos. Ciao.